OK, so this video is a look at Captain Britain figure. Today I'm going to be singing the praises of this. An excellent Captain Britain figure by Toybiz from 1999. For me, this is a masterclass in how to make action figures, and I'll tell you the reasons why. For a start, the size is perfect, not too small or too big, and the paint scheme is also perfect. He looks just like he does in the comics, and not being redesigned out of all recognition, like some can be. He's articulated at the neck, shoulders, elbows, top of the legs and knees, which is all the articulation you need. Some figures have more joints than a human skeleton, which I feel is just too much. What do they think we do with these things? Back when I read comics, Captain Britain didn't carry any weapons, but here they've given him an orange and yellow translucent staff, which I really like. I don't care if it's not comic accurate, I think he would look good holding them, and I've always been a sucker for anything translucent. Next to him, they've added Lockheed the Dragon, who, when I read comics, fought alongside the X-Men. Even though Captain Britain is not a mutant, he was in the X-Men spin-off team Excalibur with Nightcrawler, so maybe that's the connection between him and Lockheed. I'm not sure. Whatever the reason, it's still a good version of him, as they've even articulated him when they could have easily gone away with just making him a solid piece of plastic. Above Lockheed is a trading card about the character, just to finish this excellent set off. If we lived in a perfect world, all figures would be this good, but maybe it's good that they aren't, as I would have even less money. OK, so that was a look at a Captain Britain figure, and hopefully you'll join me on another video sometime.